Hello friends, welcome to Taylor Sinise Yoga and Fitness. My name is Taylor and this is your week three slow flow short sequence. So let's jump right into our practice. We are starting off today in child's pose. Make your way to your hands and your knees. Draw your big toes to touch knees. Go as wide as your mat. As you know, I always use the support of a block in my child's pose that um, just helps my knees out. I have some tight knee joints uh, left over from some childhood injuries. So you can take on whatever modifications or adjustments that you need to really allow a uh, child's pose to resonate in your body. Once you get comfortable, start to walk your hands forward. Draw your forehead to rest onto your mat. Now really press into your fingertips so much so that your elbows will lift off of your mat and then press your hips into your heels. Let's start in with our breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Fill up your belly. Fill your rib cage. Expand. Inhale. Open mouth. Exhale. Let that go. Another one just like that. Deep breath in through your nose. Fill up your belly. Ex expand through your rib cage. Inhale. And open mouth, exhale, side out. <sighs> now seal your lips to work into your ujjayi pranayama, your warming breath. You'll breathe in and out through your nose while constricting the back of your throat. Inhale, ujjayi, in through your nose. Exhale, ujjayi, back out through your nose. Constrict the back of your throat. Inhale, Ujjayi, in through your nose. Exhale, Ujjayi, back out through your nose. Constrict your throat. Now continue with your Ujjayi breathing on your own time. And as you breathe, start to check in with yourself and with your body. First, how do you feel? What's your mental state, your emotional state? How are you coming to your mat today? And then how does your body feel? What places are tight? What places are tense? What places do you need to just bring a little bit of extra focus to? Keep all of that in mind as you flow, as you move your body. Inhale, push up to a tabletop pose. Push up to all fours. Stack your shoulders over your wrist and your hips over your knees. Then exhale. Inhale, cow. Drop your belly. Arch your back. Gaze up to the ceiling. Open up your chest. Exhale, cat. Tuck your chin. Round your spine. Draw your abdominals up and in. Inhale, cow. Drop your belly. Arch your back. Gaze up to the ceiling. Open your chest. And exhale, cat. Tuck your chin. Round your spine. Pull your abdominals up and in. Then start to make your way to your neutral tabletop position. Engage your abdominals, pull the tops of your ribs together. Focus your eyes and ground down through your left palm. Inhale, reach your right arm out in front of you. Thumb faces up like you're giving someone a handshake. Then extend your left leg behind you. Always option to keep your hand or your opposite leg rooted and just work with one body part. So you can choose either your arm or your leg. Dial your left hip down, stay lifted in your abdominals. Hold this for three. Come back to your tabletop in two. And one, tabletop pose. Nice job, my friends. Extend your left arm long. 
know that you can pause at this step and just work on building, building stability. Or extend your right leg out. You move forward a little bit. Dial your right hip down. Pull up in your abdominal muscles. Keep your eyes focused, gaze down. Pull this for three. Tabletop pose in two and one. Tabletop pose, come back to all fours. Tuck your toes, take a deep breath in, come to the balls of your feet. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back and just find a little bit of movement here and your down dog, pedal out your feet. One foot, and then the other. Stretch and open up the back line of your body. Then find stillness in your downward facing dog. Let's set this up. Spread your fingers wide on your hands. Press through the L's of your hands, that space between your thumb and your index finger. Press your torso towards your thighs and allow your heels to release into your mat. Know that you can keep a bend in the backs of your knees. That feels better in your hamstrings. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Start to walk your feet up to the top of your mat. Behind your wrist, feet are hip width distance apart. Bend your knees enough so that your belly can relax onto your thighs. Let your head hang heavy, your upper shoulders. Release any tension you may be feeling in your jaw. Option here to reach for your opposite elbows, maybe a couple of soft shakes of your head, yes. I know. If you reached out your Reach for your opposite elbow, switch out your grip, place your opposite arm on top, maybe a couple of soft sways. Then release your fingertips towards your mat with a bend in your knees, tuck your chin, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Take your time. Your head and your shoulders will be the last to arrive at stands. Once you find yourself at standing here, take on some shoulder rolls, a couple of shoulder rolls, and a couple of neck rolls. And then find stillness and ground down through your feet, engage your leg muscles. Palms face forward to the front of your room. Have energy in the palms of your hands. Lift your chest, stand up tall and proud. Inhale, mountain pose. Tadasana, sweep both fingertips up to the ceiling above you, breathe. So quick shoulder check. If your shoulders came up with your arms, Pull your shoulders back down your back. Rotate your pinky fingers in to face each other. Abdominals are engaged. Inhale. Exhale, open arm twist. Twist open to the right side of your mat. Extend your right arm behind you, your left arm forward. Root firmly through your feet so that you can pull your left hip back. And keep both hip bones square to the front. You can gaze wherever is comfortable in your neck. That's towards the back of your hand or towards the front of your room. Inhale, balance and come back to center. Exhale, side stretch in the opposite direction. Reach your left arm behind you, your right arm forward. Once again, gaze wherever is comfortable in your neck, relax your shoulders down. Pull your right hip back. Abdominals are held so strong. Inhale, mountain. Come back to center. Exhale, forward fold. With a bend in your knees, release your fingertips all the way down towards your mat. Now inhale, half lift. 
Plant your palms against your shins and breathe here. So work for a flat spine. Draw your abdominals in. Shift more weight into the balls of your feet. Actively press your palms into your shins. Inhale. Exhale, tabletop pose. Plant your hands. Come to all fours. Then lower all the way down till you're laying flat on your belly. Flip to the tops of your feet. Shoe lay side down. Press them into the mat. Inhale. Baby Cobra. Bhujangasana. Peel your chest off of your mat. Your back is doing all of the work here. So no pressure in your hands. Lengthen through the back of your neck. Lift your spine a little bit higher. Inhale. Exhale. Release your baby cobra. Inhale, tabletop pose or high plank you choose. Press up to all fours or find your high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Now seal your lips. Come back to your ujjayi breathing. We'll flow this a little bit faster. One breath to one movement. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, travel to your hands. Start to walk your feet to the top of your mat. Behind your wrists, they are hip width distance apart. Inhale, half lift. Flatten your spine. Engage your abdominals. Exhale, forward fold, release it down. Inhale, mountain. Ground down to stand up tall. Release your shoulders. Exhale, open arm twist. Right arm back, left arm forward, hips are square. Inhale, mountain, come back to center. Exhale, open arm twist to the left side. Left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale, mountain, fingertips up. Exhale, forward fold. Hands come through heart center, start to release down towards your mat. Inhale, half lift, flatten your spine, strong belly muscles. Exhale, tabletop. Come to all fours, your hands and your knees, then lower all the way to your belly. Tops of your feet press into the mat. Inhale, baby cobra, bhujangasana. Light pressure in your hands. Allow your spine to do this work. Exhale, release your baby cobra. Inhale, tabletop or high plank, you choose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Lower down to your knees and make your way to your backs, my friends. We will work into a little bit of core work. So lower all the way down. Plant the left sole of your foot on the mat. Extend your right leg up tall towards the ceiling. Now listen, you have options. You can keep this right leg extended long. You can have a bend in it, or you can even just place your feet on the mat and focus on your oblique muscles. So take your choice with your option of your right leg. Extend your right arm out long to the side. Find a basket grip behind your ear with your left hand. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, crunch. Lift and lower. So go ahead and switch to your open mouth exhales. Lift and lower. Keep the space between your chest and chin open. Exhale, lift and lower. Twist both shoulders off your mat. Keep going. It's lift and lower. Open mouth exhales. Lift and lower. Exhale. Keep pushing. Eight. Exhale, seven. Yes, you can. You've got this. Six. Five. 
stay strong. Four, there's a little pulse coming up. In three, last two, and one, let's take a pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, just four, three, two, one. Nice job. Lower your right leg down. Extend your left leg towards the ceiling. Left arm reaches out long. Find that basket grip. Now remember you have options. You can bend that knee or place it on your mat. Your choice. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift and lower. Open mouth exhales. Twist both shoulders off your mat. It's exhale as you lift. That's it. Open mouth exhales. <sighs> there is power in your breath. Strength in your breath. Use it. Eight. Just for seven. Last six. You have five. You'll pulse it up in four. Last three, just two, and one, eight, count pulse, stay in it, eight, seven, six, five, just four, three, two, one, nice job, my friends, hug your knees into your chest, little rocks from side to side, that should feel pretty good on your lower back. Then hands behind your knees, start to rock and roll the length of your spine. You wanna work up enough momentum to cross your feet, plant your hands, step back to your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Ujjayi breathing. Inhale. Exhale, modified low lunge. Step your right foot to the top of your mat. You lower it down to your left knee. Now listen. Inhale, warrior one. Straighten in your back leg so that your back, your back foot gets flat on the mat. There's still a bend in your front knee. Start to peel your chest off of your thigh. Reach both fingertips to the ceiling above you. Breathe. Drive your right heel into the mat to pull your right hip back. Get a stretch and a lengthening through your left hip flexor. Close your rib cage. Lift through your abdominals. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands together at heart center. Really press into the palms of your hands. Inhale. Exhale, twist over to the right side of your room. Press into your palms. Keep your abdominals engaged. Pull your right hip back. And continue to breathe. Inhale, warrior one back to your center exhale warrior two open up to the long edge side of your mat there's a bend in your front knee feel your front knee press open towards your pinky toe lengthen through your back leg gaze over your front hand now inhale star heels in toes out reach up tall take up your space exhale horse pose Hands come to heart center. Your chest is tall. Shoulders are stacked right over your hips. Feel your knees press open towards your pinky toe. Now hands come to the inside of your legs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist to the front of your mat. Drop your left shoulder down. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the back of your mat. Inhale, come back to center. Hands are at heart center. 
Then exhale, wide-legged forward fold. So release your hands towards your mat. Turn your toes to face the long edge side of your mat and start to straighten into your knees as much as it feels good in the back of your hamstrings. Shift more weight into the balls of your feet. Inhale, half lift, find a flat back. Exhale, back to your modified low lunge. Lower your left knee down. Listen, we're going to pyramid pose. So inhale, pyramid pose. Straighten your back leg. You step your back foot in just like you do in your warrior one, as much as you need to so that it's flat. Front leg is straight, but know that you can always have a bend here if that feels better in your hamstrings. Hips are even. Relax your neck and your shoulders. However, do keep your abdominals engaged. Option to stay right here, or if you want to take this step one foot, take take this posture one step further. You can grab a block, or maybe a pillow, a throw pillow, um, or a stack of blankets, just to bring the floor up to you. We are moving into a revolved pyramid pose. Place your right hand onto your hip. Inhale, twist. Open your chest to the side of the room. Know that you can stay right here. Or extend your right arm all the way. Squeeze your shoulders together on your back. Know that you should stop at whatever step resonates in your body. And then come back to your pyramid pose. Remove any assistance blocks or pillows that you have off to the side. Step back to your downward facing dog. Let's take that on the left side. Inhale. Exhale, modified low lunge. Step your left foot forward. Lower down to your right knee. Now inhale, warrior one. Back leg goes straight. Remember, press through the outer edge of your back foot. Front knee is bent. Feel your chest up. Reach your fingertips to the ceiling. Square your hips. Pull your left hip back. Engage your inner thighs, pull up in your abdominals. Relax your shoulders down, hands come to heart center, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left side of your mat. Keep your belly muscles held strong to protect you in this twist. Really press through the palms of your hands and lengthen through the back of your leg. Inhale, warrior one, back to center. Exhale, warrior two, adjust your stance. Bend your front knee, lengthen through your back leg. Shoulders are right over your hips. Inhale, star, heels in, toes out. Take up your space. Exhale, horse. Hands come through heart center. Sit low in your legs. Shoulders are stacked right over your hips. Pull up in your lower belly. Hands come to the inside of your legs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist to the front of your mat. Drop your right shoulder down. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the back of your mat. Drop your left shoulder. Inhale back to your horse pose, chest tall. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. All 10 toes face the long edge side. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, modified low lunge. Moving back into our pyramid pose. Straighten in your back leg. Make sure that foot is flat. Front leg is straight as well as much as you can. So you can always bend this knee. Know that you can stay right here if you're working on that stability. Or we can take it to our revolve pyramid pose. Grab onto your block or your pillow. Left hand to your sacral or your hip. Inhale, twist. Open your chest to the side. Know that you can stay right here or extend your left arm long. And breathe. One more inhale. 
inhale, exhale. Modified low lunge. Lower your right knee down and downward facing dog. Find that V shape. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Let it go. Lower it down to your knees and grab a seat. Let's start to slow it down. Legs go straight out in front of you. Flex your feet towards the ceiling. Remi remove any extra flesh from underneath your sits bones. Find a tall spine. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, seated forward fold. Hinge at your torso, grab for your feet. Be encouraged to bend your knees as much as you need to in this posture. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Roll up through your spine and start to lower all the way down till you're laying flat on your mat. Pull your knees into your chest. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, happy baby. Knees to your armpits. Grab for your feet, your ankles, or the backs of your knees. Whatever allows your lower back and your neck, your head to remain attached. Take little rocks from side to side if that feels good. Knees to your chest. Give yourself a hug. Compress your thighs to your belly. Connect your forehead to your knees. One more sip of air. Deep breath in. Exhale, Shavasana. Lower all the way down. Get heavy. Find total relaxation. Release your muscles, your jaw. And find stillness. Start with your breath, deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Reach for a full body stretch. Reach through your fingertips, point through your toes, and make your way to fetal pose. Curl onto either side of your mat. Use your bicep as a pillow. Then with your eyes closed or softly focused, press up to a seat at the top of your mat. Find Sukhasana. Bring your hands to rest on your knees. Let's close out with unifying breaths. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Hands together at heart center, inhale. Exhale, we'll bow forward with gratitude in our hearts. Thank you so much for your time, your energy, your space, your effort, and your trust. Come back to sitting up tall, release your hands, blink your eyes open. Really nice practice today, my friends. Stay committed, keep rolling out your mat, stay motivated and consistent. And I will see you next time. Have an amazing rest of your day.